So now again, we go back now looking at our different facilities. We're gonna do the on-site survey. We now have all that background information. How do we proceed? And we understand the hydraulics. We know about the different water using equipment. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna look for? And the simple solution is follow the flow. And this is where sometimes when you come on site, it can be very daunting because the location itself can be very complicated plumbing, piping is not all visible, and it can be difficult. Starting at the service connection is the recommended starting point. How many service connections are there? What are they going to? Identifying the water uses on site is what you may be charged with, as well as identifying water using equipment. And this is where with experience, you'll be able to identify these sooner. So really following the flow from the point of entry to its end use is gonna assist you in no matter what type of facility you're going through. As you approach a, a facility, sometimes just the beautiful scenery, you kind of lose track. Oh, it's such a pretty day and beautiful grounds. It doesn't look like there's any hazards here. Everything looks beautiful. You see the nice stream running down the hill or the little waterfall. But again, consider where's the water coming from? I think maybe the water feature on the right, you would understand is, okay, that appears to be a man-made feature. Oh, there must be a pump. There must be a holding tank. Is the water treated? Uh, that type of thing. Where the one on the left looks like just a natural stream running out of the hill. Well, don't be misled. You may get out to a facility, see that, and then you realize as you look a little more closely, uh, that's no natural little creek that's running. There's actually a recirculating system. So doing a, a bit of your survey, walking back up the hill, all of a sudden you'll see a control underground. The picture on the right shows the plumbing underground, the control valves, solenoid valves. You'll find a little pump room. So what seemed to be a very harmless uh, flowing of water turns into a water feature uh, that has pumps, water makeup lines, and now we have to consider that as a potential hazard. What is the quality of the water in that recirculating system in that stream? It may be a little more obvious when you walk up to the fish pond and you know the fish love that nice green water, but you look over in the corner in that lower right hand, you can see where the water line comes in and is below the rim fill into that, into that pool. So we quite, find quite frequently a lot of times water features, people look past and don't consider the fact that there may be potable water interconnected. So you're always looking for some industrial particular application, uh, but even here in ponds and water features, we need to look carefully where is the water coming from. Some of you may be out at the service connection and say, okay, I found the backflow preventer, here's the service line and the survey, I don't need to see anything further because I can see that the building is properly protected. Well, how do we know what this is really going to? So again, as a starting point, follow the flow. We'll start from the service connection. And as we start going on site, what other water sources are there? Signage now indicates, oh, there's recycled water on site. Were we aware of that? Did we know that there was recycled water on site? So we can't always just make the, that decision from the curb, looking at the RP, feeding a building, that everything looks good, no need to look further. The fact we have on-site recycled water for many of you now opens up a different set of issues of dealing with you know, this particular application. When we start looking at typical facilities under the services category, there's just a variety of things you'll find from car wash to a film laboratory, laundry facility, et cetera. As we start looking at typical facilities in each of those categories uh, from the USC manual, you, know, you need to consider the things you might find at each of these. So let's take the car wash as an example. I think we're all familiar, may have used a car wash. Um, what's the concern here? Well, when we start looking at a car wash, you know, the typical hazards, there are gonna be injection systems, maybe soap, degreasers, wax, 
There may be boilers on site where there's hot water generation. 